What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something a little different. Instead of filming the process, I decided to just film the after effect of the process. As you know, if you follow the channel for any stretch of time, I, I'm pretty big into this cart. I just updated the wheels on it because the casters were just going to crap. Little ball bearings were falling all over the place and it wasn't a good look. So I updated the wheels. I've had this cart for about 10 years. So now we're at the point where I want to make it more detailing friendly. I got my hose hanger here. I've got this little bar I put so I could put, you know, empty bottles or spray bottles, whatever bottle I'm using, whatever bottle I want to put. I got my pressure washer down below and I got my wheel bucket and usually I keep my wash and rinse bucket on top. Uh, but when I'm doing paint correction or polishing for any extended period of time, I was always having an issue where I had to leave the polishers like this and I wanted to show you that this is not like a horrible thing, but what I didn't like is this. I don't like that these polishers are so expensive and you know, it's just not a good look. So I started digging around and I found two options. I originally bought this, same company, and uh, this would actually hold one polisher here and one in there, a little mini micro or uh, whatever. Um, but the thing is, I didn't love how high this would sit. Of course, after I drop, you know, sixty, seventy dollars on those two, they come out with this, which are three D printed. Now you would think this is flimsy. It's really not. There's a lifetime warranty through the company. If it breaks for whatever reason, they'll replace it, which is pretty awesome. I got it through Sky Car Care, um, Car Pro, and uh, I'm really excited about it because it sits lower. It's black like the rest of the bench, and it's very stable. Now, it does flex slash bend a little tiny bit, but nothing crazy. Two of the most common polishers I'll be using are going to be like the Rupes 21 or the Rupes 15. That's for sure a staple. And I just wanted to show you that they sit on here like this. And I let go. You can see it does move a little bit, but this is sturdy. And... This is awesome. It's awesome because, you know, I don't have to worry about it. And it doesn't doesn't give me agita. It's not going to fall off. It's it's on there pretty dang good. Uh, my rotary or the Bigfoot Mini. But obviously if the Bigfoot fits, the Mini's not going to have a problem. So the rotary is the only other situation. Think about how beautiful that is. Look at that gorgeous thing. And then that sits. Now that sits differently. And it does push it a tiny bit more but it says on the paper these are designed for any buffer rotary da whatever and it's really not pushing it much it's supposedly made it's made out of super strong material but as you can see the whole point of this video is to show you how cool this is obviously when the carts next to me i'm gonna have my polishes pads that i'm using spare pads everything on top of the bench my um scan grip lights will probably be on a tower but i'll have my handheld lights the little one there and my um other light which is over there but it just keeps it more handy it's on wheels i got my spray bottles i i just think overall it's a really cool setup and uh all i had to do was drill two little holes and i bought these um these little bolts with a washer and I think there was zinc and it went right in uh, so easy a caveman could do it and that was basically what I did but anyway that's all I wanted to show you for today um, that's it let me know what you think about it let me know what you think about the cart so far I have more ideas coming uh, potentially one where I'm putting a um, some kind of magnetic bar so that I could put uh, my magnetic scan grip light on the cart and have that at a lower angle that's another thing probably attach it on the bottom down there that's for a different video anyway thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you are an ocd og i truly appreciate you and uh yeah pretty freaking cool we're making strides to having a much cooler setup i think it looks awesome but oh and then by the way this can when you're done if you wanted to I guess I think this is something to do with the cabling. 
something like that. But I'm not leaving this um, there. This could be on the wall if you wanted. I have a cabinet that I put all these in. I'm only going to have them out on this as needed. So there's really no big need for that. But it's nice that it's there. It's pretty cool. I'll probably put those other two somewhere on the wall. And I gotta mount this somewhere. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next one. Just for the sake of being thorough, I wanted to show you, a lot of people don't use a rotary. So what if you had a 21 millimeter and a 15 millimeter? Um, again, like I said, I do, I do have a uh, 15 millimeter Rupes, but here's a Max Shine, um, which is another super popular uh, version. This is all, again, perfect. So, just wanted to show you that, because why not? You know, show you that it works. I do have a three inch, but obviously it works just fine because it's smaller, lighter, fits perfect on it. And you know, when you're ready, you could just pick this up and now, you know, you're ready. You're ready to go. You're, you're polishing, you're, you're stopping at a, a minor delay. It fits the pad and there's a gap underneath. So uh, everything fits awesome but yeah there's really no delay i think it's freaking incredible but yeah that's it